In this video, we're going to take a look at how to draw a line graph. So we're going to do that with the example given in front of us. So we've got a science project and we are recording the heights of a plant every week and all the results are in the table. So it's first of all, it's really important we understand that this is paired data. And by that, I mean each data point has kind of two components. So for example, it has a week or a time component. So, um, and it has that height at that particular time. So at week two, the height was three. At week four, the height was six. Um, they have to be drawn together, and that is why a line graph can be a good tool in displaying paired data such as this. Okay, so we're gonna draw some axes, and it's important that the time axis goes horizontal along the bottom, um, and anything else goes um, up the side vertically. So we're gonna have weeks across the bottom and height going up. It's important that we space things out evenly again, all right? So um, let's just have a quick look. This isn't the finished line graph, but it's gonna get us started. So we have drawn, look, along that x-axis, that horizontal axis, the weeks, and are going up, we have drawn the heights. Clearly, okay, you can see that it is evenly spaced out. The gap from zero to one, for example, is the same distance as the gap between three and four and five to six. Double check that you are doing that. Okay, now, once we've got that sorted out, make sure you label your axes. We write height and the units there, look, and the week number there. Really important we do that. Okay, now then these points were generated by plotting these matching pairs. So for example, the first one, zero, zero, had zero on the weeks and zero in the height. And that's why it is there. And it's been labeled for us as well. If we just carry on a second and take a look at the next one, 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 well, the week was one and the height was one. Well, that represents that point there. Um, carrying on again, this week two, height three. So we find week two and we make sure we write it at the point three. So that paired data point is there. So this continues through the graph. You mark crosses or dashes, something on there to indicate where those, those data points lie. Now, once you've done that, you're then going to join them up with a straight line, starting from the first one, okay? You use a ruler to join the points and then we are finished, okay? So that is how you're going to draw your line graphs.